Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I want to talk about a book that I used for a course I took. The course was a 7,000 level course on functional analysis. The book is written by Krasig, I think I said that correctly, and it's called Introductory Functional Analysis with Applications. This is an amazing book. I really, really like this book. Let's look inside it. So the contents are organized in a really friendly way. If you're studying functional analysis, that means you've probably taken like some advanced calculus and some real analysis, so you're familiar with metric spaces. Um, you also cover metric spaces and topology, which is something you've probably had if you're studying uh, functional analysis. So the fact that it starts with metric spaces is a really nice gentle review and introduction, right? So he goes over everything really, really well, and it makes you feel like you understand, because you do, because in theory, you probably already know uh, metric spaces. Then it goes over normed and Bonnock spaces. That's all written very, very clear. It's a really, really nice read. Also, the sections are really small. They're only a couple pages. Um, it's just broken up in a really elegant way. Then it goes on to inner product spaces and Hilbert spaces. And again, things are explained in a very, very clear fashion. Chapter four is on the fundamental theorems for normed and Bonnock spaces. Then he goes on to fixed point, uh, the Bonnock fixed point theorem some approximation theory, spectral theory of linear operators, compact linear operators on norm spaces, and then some spectral theory, unbounded linear operators in Hilbert space, and then unbounded linear operators in... This book is an excellent read. It is extremely easy to read, and of course this is coming from the perspective of someone who would be taking this course. So. If you're taking this course, that means that you have some prereq material. So typically, you would probably uh, already have a math degree, or you would be close to having a math degree. That's not to say that someone who doesn't have one or is close to having one couldn't read this book, but you have to be familiar with certain things. Like you have to know what uh, SUP means, right? That's the supremum. You have to know, uh, you know, quite a bit of uh, mathematics. But for someone who does, and for someone who is in the position to learn functional analysis, it is a great book. Notice the symbols. The, the symbols he uses are those Greek letters. That's one of the downfalls of this book. He tends to use those everywhere in the book. So if you have a hard time uh, writing down Greek letters, um, you can just replace those with other symbols. That's one thing that I found uh, a little bit annoying uh, about the book. The exercises in this book are fantastic. Notice I circled some of them. Uh, that means I, I did those. So I did 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I did 11, 12, and 13, and 15. So I did most of the problems in 1.1. 1 .1. um, so I've, I've worked through uh, a decent part of this book, and I've read it. And uh, based on that, I think that the problems are the correct level of difficulty. So if you read the book, and you read it well, and you just read it again and again and again, in theory, you should be able to do most of the exercises, right? Uh, I was able to do these uh, just by reading the first uh, section. And of course, I already had a background in this stuff, and I had some class notes as well uh, to supplement my reading. So overall, it's uh, a really good book. And again, it's uh, Kreisig. So if you want uh, to learn functional analysis, and you can find this inexpensively, it's a good book to pick up. I think it's a good beginner book um, for functional. The way it reads is solid. That's it.